Hello. This video shows you how to install CRM 2011 on Windows Server 2012. My name is Erez David and I'm the owner of Dynamic CLL website. Let's so the first step is to download two crucial files. One is CRM which contains Rollup 6 in it and the other one is an SHS file which is also crucial for this installation. The second step will be to create config XML file and the first step is the installation process which you can read all about it in my dynamic soil web page by installation. Let's begin. So this link sending me to the CRM server file I will download it. As you can see the size of this file is 120 megabytes only. I'll put it on the install directory and now I will download the SHS file. I will add it to my basket. Now show basket and download. Also in my install folder. Okay. And now I will open the install folder and let's check the installation here. This is an exe file which I need to extract. Okay, let's put it in C drive install folder and let's make a new folder. Call it CRM 2011 setup. Okay, while well it uh, will be extract, I will move into the SSS folder which I downloaded and I'm going to choose the English one which is 1033 and extract it also. I will put it in the install folder, press OK. I already did it, so I have the file extracted in my install folder. Let's see it. Yeah, it's that one. Moving forward. The config XML file. Let's edit it and I will show you what you need to write on it. Uh, mainly it will use to navigate to the MSP file that I instructed. And that's it. So I pause it for a few seconds and now as you can see while it's instructing I will cancel the installation because I need it to be a manual installation. I'm going to the command line and let's write down, let's navigate first to the installation folder it's on C installs CRM setup and now we will activate the setup server exe and add config and the config file directory Yeah, it's that one. And press enter. As you can see, the setup uh, tell me that it finished to download the update, so I'm ready to go. Now press next. And from now on, it's regular installation. If you don't need to see it, you can 
exit, but uh, those of you who want to see, I will move forward. I will enter my license key here and then accept the license agreement, install prerequisites, Okay, this is the installation directory. Next, this is the server wall. And now I need to enter my SQL server, which is the localhost. So I will write it down here. And create new direct deployments, sorry. The organization which I created earlier in the Active Directory, next, and this Windows is crucial, you can uh, insert your CRM services account, I, I prefer to create for each service a different account, as you can see. CRM app is for the application services, CRM deploy is for deployment web services, sandbox, and asynchronous processing. Yeah, I will insert their passwords. And next, just a second, no, okay, um, sometimes you can use the default website, but uh, in this case I will choose the port 5555, and I will enter this server as an email server in the future if I want to. Here I am going to insert my organization details and the reporting services I recommend that you will check it before the installation started to see if there is no error and next I will not participate here yeah, and I don't want to update Okay, let's put next. As you can see, my reporting services is alright, so I can close this window. And everything check out to be fine. Okay, let's press next and another one. And install. So that's it. Um, this installation would take uh, like a 20 minutes. Let's go forward. The installation uh, ended with error. I'm not worried about that. I'm starting my server. And don't forget to install rollup 13 or higher rollup because uh, Windows 2012 is not supported uh, with the earlier rollups. So after the installation of Rollup 13, I yeah, that's it. I before I restart my server, I want to see if the CRM is up and running. Yeah, so I will enter HTTP localhost port 5555 and enter. It will take a while but uh, let's uh, go forward and as you can see in a few minutes my CRM will be ready to use. Yeah, 
So um, that's about it. Uh, if you have any question, you can check our website. And good luck to you.